Hello. So I am studying this book called Grow Rich with Peace of Mind. Yeah. Grow Rich with Peace of Mind and the author is Napoleon Hill. And this book and why this book and the author well he studied he studied from five hundred of the most successful people in the United States and this was long time ago in 1908 and what he was after was the principles that made them successful you know the characters the habits and the principles that made them successful so he wrote he wrote many books among them think and grow rich but right now I'm reading this book called grow rich with peace of mind and in this book he is talking about uh, fear being free of fear because he says that fear is faith in reverse gear fear is faith in reverse gear so if you're living your life in fear of something that you, it's most likely is going to happen if you if you're fearing something so he says when you are free of fear you are free to live to live your life as you as you were meant at, as as it was meant to to be lived so uh, and this is what happens in most cases uh, when we try to do things we do things out there but the things we do at the same time are hurting other people and we see it and when you see that the things you are hurting other people this somehow somewhere because we all human beings we have children we have you know we have families you live with some kind of fear that one day something is going to happen to you and when you live with such a fear it's definitely some it definitely happens so and if it doesn't happen in most cases it comes to your to our children it happens to your children so one way napoleon hill say speaks about increasing your peace of mind is you know being in a position of giving being on, in a position of doing something that is benefiting everybody out there that it affects and at the same time this something is what is is bringing you an income an income so he he really really emphasizes this point that everybody out there should be doing something that they really love but at the same time that something whatever it is they are doing should be benefiting everybody else and that should be also the the source of your income and that is the way you can you can have peace of mind and live a, f a life without fear and even if you have done a lot of things in the in the back of course in the past he says that you have to close that door of the past leave that behind you and always focus on 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 the future on what is coming on what is going to what is coming and obviously also making sure that what you're doing is benefiting everybody and the more you do this then it is by law of the universe that the more it's going to come come back to you so if in the past you've done maybe some wrong things then you can also compensate it's possible that you may be able to compensate with the things you've done in the past with what you are, you are going to do in the future and somehow they might cancel, cancel themselves out but don't don't stick your your soul on that because only God knows the best thing to do is always to repent and never do and never do anything that is is harmful for any other person out there. So if you like this video, leave some comments and click and and click like. All these things, uh, you know, is for businesses. You know, because everybody there is trying to succeed. Everybody there is trying to earn a living. Whether you're working, there are some people in the workplace. And especially in workplace, because you spend so much time there, there's so much problem, so many conflicts there, unnecessary conflicts, you know. And all of this, most of the cases, is due to people's ignorance, people not understanding each other, or not willing to understand each other, or people not really interested in the job. Because you come to the job, you're supposed to do the work and go home, do the work and go home, and of course have a good relationship with your workmates. So if you like this video, uh, uh, leave some comments, uh, like it and share it with your friends. Peace.